Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, Amazon Flex deactivated account. How do you fix it? Before we start, hurry up and check out the self just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you fix your issues on your Amazon Flex account, which in this case, they might have been deactivated. Well, in order for you to fix this problem, you need to reach out to support because by yourselves, we won't be able to do much. So first things first, you want to open up your browser. You want to search for Amazon Flex and you want to go to the official web page here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go to the top left here, which in this case, you see the tree bar icon. Let's go and click on it and you want to go to safety. Now, in the safety section, what we need to do is we need to go to the very bottom of our page here. Now, as you can see, there's a need help section here, which in this case, you can contact Amazon Flex support via the following ways. So first is via call. So you could use the following numbers here, you see the telephone number here to basically call them and basically ask what is happening with your account or even ask for assistance on recovering your account or fixing any problems. Because most likely if your account has been deactivated, this, there might be some issues or some things that you might need to clarify with Amazon Flex in order for you to start using your account again. Now, they might require you to verify yourself or contact you in other means if you try calling them. So they might send you an email. So in this case, just interact with them and make sure to be respectful. In, the, at, in this case, this, in this case, they will be the one that will be helping you. And yeah, so have an interaction with them and hopefully they will help you to uh, fix the problem. But if you don't want to call them, you could also contact them via the following email address, which is going to be amazonflex-support at amazon.com. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and copy the actual email here. And by the way, they only reply on the specific uh, time and day here. So in this case, they are available from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. AEDT daily. So as long as you fit one of those times, they will hopefully reply to you one of those times. So in this case, if you're using or want to use the email way, you want to go and copy the email address that we just saw. You want to go and open up your email here and you want to go ahead and basically create a new email here. Let's go and go back here. Let's go and click on compose and we want to go ahead and enter our, uh, in this case, the two section. We want to paste our email here and you want to go ahead and describe the problem itself. So since our account is deactivated, let's just say Amazon account deactivated and from here you could go ahead and compose your email now i would suggest you to uh, basically uh describe what is what you what you currently did what happened before your account was deactivated and also provide some basic information here like your full name but do not provide further details unless they ask for it but yeah well, in this case, you could go ahead and describe what happened with your account. So depending on what uh, what you what you did before, uh, your actions before, if someone actually reported you, you might want to mention that as well. But yeah, so in this case, uh, that's about it. Again, this is most likely an interaction with your support team. Just follow their steps. And also, if they ask for your password, do not provide it because no representative pro customer representative will ask for your password so most likely they may ask you like to verify yourself like any ids are proof but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video